I've based my clothes on a minor character in the background of The Nativity at Night by Jan Provost, which is actually a way at conservation. I wanted to do something that would be interesting for the public, rather than there being the usual label saying, away for conservation, and it's just missing. I'm going to paint uh, my own response to the Jan Provost. As someone once called it sort of method painting. There is almost this kind of sympathetic magic going on that what you're wearing somehow changes the meaning of what you're doing. So it does create a kind of myth around my paintings. I'm really interested in the whole reenactor scene as a, a sort of alternative subculture that goes on in Britain. So in this reenactment group that I'm a member of, I do sort of being an artist, I suppose, and making um, my own paints. So I find it an interesting framework um, to conduct my research into historic recipes and materials. Actually, there's a big sort of history of artists doing that, dressing up as their subject. It very much ties in with why I, I make all my pigments and my paints. It's somehow, the things that go behind the materials and how they're made sort of changes their meaning. When you make your paint by hand, it's like reconnecting the origins of the materials. And I think that nowadays, if you just go and buy industrially produced paints and tubes, you don't have that connection to what each colour can actually mean. Not just as a kind of some sort of symbology, but actually because of its very material origins. The material reality of things can generate sort of meanings and more sort of poetic and metaphorical ways of viewing the world. And I suppose that's what painting's all about. I mean, if you look just at face value at my paintings, it would be impossible really to tell whether that paints were handmade or not. But I think that once people find out, it changes the way they look at it. Here at Upton House, we've got an amazing old master collection. It's actually like a mini national gallery. There's a series by Jan Steen of The Five Senses, and they're hanging in between the windows. And I have the feeling that maybe lots of the public don't notice these wonderful little paintings. The thing about the Jan Steen Five Senses is that touch was missing. So I did my own version of touch, and I did a self-portrait. Jan Steen was very famous for having, putting himself into his paintings. Working in a place like the National Trust, I'm kind of highlighting the sort of performative nature of how we represent um, our heritage. It's creating a space where the public have to enter in and, and imagine, they almost try to transport themselves into the past. The National Trust visitors can be um, experts in their own field. That I find great. It's almost like sharing recipes. I'm not striving to make uh, exact historical reproduction, but rather to use the techniques or the, and the recipes um, and ways of thinking and ways of working that I learn to invent new things.